This is what it looks like out there. We've got overcast skies Friday morning. Uh, kind of a dreary start to the day, but when you walk outside, you're going to notice just how mild it is. And you may notice a couple of sprinkles, the possibility of some showers around across our southern counties. So we've been showing them on the max track off and on through the morning. It's been very light, very sparse, but it's out there. Southeast, another little batch of moisture into southern Indiana this morning, and this should be a telltale sign that something's up. This is the severe risk for Friday. Uh, this is something we usually see, you know, during the height of the severe season in the spring, uh, not so much December 10th, but uh, you've got this bullseye, this enhanced risk for severe storms right across the Mississippi River Valley. So uh, the highest threat is across western Kentucky with this round that's coming in this evening. We're likely going to see a squall line that will cut across from Paducah, Memphis, running all the way up into Indiana and Illinois, and then race east into early tomorrow morning. So you go from a slight to a marginal risk to pretty much zilch into eastern Kentucky. An indication that that line of storms will be running out of steam as it goes through the morning and pushes into our eastern counties. But You've even got that slight risk continuing Saturday for the morning for that round coming in. So we're kind of bridging the gap between Friday and Saturday with that early morning round coming through and then it pushes toward the East Coast. So the future tracks, some occasional showers this morning, uh, possibility of a rumble of thunder by later on this evening, even uh, in the cards there. But the main round gets going across western Kentucky and then it's come barreling in here early tomorrow morning. Uh, so the concern here, this is going to be an overnight round for western Kentucky. That makes it even more dangerous because a lot of folks are just asleep. Uh, so, you know, widespread damaging wind out into western Kentucky, parts of Tennessee, western Tennessee. And then as that line comes in here, west of Lexington will be our, more than likely our highest chance of having some severe thunderstorm warnings, damaging wind, possibly some rotation within those cells, isolated tornadoes. And then as it works its way into eastern Kentucky, still packing a punch but losing some of it, by mid to late morning, it's out of here and into the afternoon. We're dry and the temperature is tanking. Temperatures are going to fall behind that front falling from the 60s to 50s to 40s as we go through the day. So uh, as far as the forecast is concerned for today, we are going to stay incredibly warm. We're in the 50s now. We'll be in the 60s. You can see this big bubble of above normal warmth. By Sunday, we're back down in the 40s. It's uh, around our average high. And then a brief uh, lull between rounds of just unseasonable warmth. Once again, this incredibly warm setup for the month of December continues. Near record, if not record highs out west. This gets you into mid to latter parts of December. This we're getting up close to Christmas. So by December 18th, 19th, finally seeing what could be a break of not significantly colder air, but at least around average or slightly below uh, average temperatures there. But for today, we are right back into that warmth, mid 60s. Now, the high for Saturday is in the mid 60s as well. And you can see that rain chance ramping up as you go from 2 a.m., 4 a.m. This is where the spike comes as that round of storms blows through in the morning and then rapidly drops off into the afternoon. If you look at the temperature through the day, uh, it's going to drop as well. I'm starting you out around 9 a.m., 60s, and then boom, by lunch, 50s, falling into the 40s later in the day after that round of storms goes through and that much colder air comes rushing in. So I don't think you're going to spend Saturday afternoon in the 60s. That's the high that will hit early in the day before that colder air comes in. Around our average high, and then look at that, a jump, a surge back into the 50s and 60s yet again toward the middle of next week. All right.